Salam Israel. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Give it up. Listen, listen, listen. I had to go visit, go back to, you know, that old DC go go, man. I love it, I love it. You understand? That was the vibe band right there, the vibe band hitting that Dave Hollister, one woman man. You understand? That's the that was the jam. Um, listen, this is the ISUPK. You on the right, you at the right place. I'm uh, Captain Shapana Posh. I'm here with Officer Mathum Yard with me, you know what I mean? You understand, holding it down strong. We finna get into a really deep class, man. I wanted to break, I'll go ahead and talk about that Dave Hollister, what I just played. That one woman, man, is that, is, um, that one woman is the truth. Give me Ezekiel 34 real okay. quick. That one woman is the truth, man. You understand? Some things, you do things in the world and you come as being the truth, man. You understand the life you, the life you was living was against the Lord. And you had to make that change, man. You understand? So that was a not good little, little, little tune to play for the class. You know what I'm saying? Um... Today we're gonna to go into we're gonna go into touch on, on piggyback off of the sheep, the characteristics of the sheep. Just drop that class Thursday, man. Check that out. We're gonna go into a little bit more, and it's all in the spirit of the Passover. That's right. You understand? Know bringing out different things. I think Thursday I want I want to bring out a little bit more on that, and then wrap it up next next Sunday before we, you know, before the Passover, you know, one more class. Um, let's see. You got the scripture? Oh, before I go, before I start, I can't imagine I would forget this. I want to thank Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. Right. 
want to thank Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, for get for uh, giving us this clarification, this understanding, man. For what so looking down upon us and having mercy on our condition, like the uh, and um, you know having us to break down these scriptures and brothers and sisters waking up. Um, so give it up. I'm gonna thank you how while you with that. Also, I want to thank the generals. That's right. I want to thank Commanding General Yohanna. Right. I want to thank uh, General Mahayman. That's right. I want to thank General Mayak. Right. I want to thank General Hazayan. That's right. General Shawama. Right. General Katungaba. Mm -hmm. And General Kabbalah Moth, man. I want to give a big shot. Big right. Thanks to the general, the water general, for all you've done for this nation, man. You understand? All the work you put in, and we don't understand what 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 was what what the generals went through in order to for us to be here and you know the sacrifices they made, man. You understand? Um also the captains will give a big the water to the captains, man. Get the captains, give it up. The officers and the troopers, man. And also with our, with our sisters, man, who are precious, who are precious in the sight of the most high man, the giving up this world coming to this truth, man, and are a, you know, just, just doing outstanding work here, man. Just give it up for the system. Right. Now, we can uh, go ahead and um, start with the scripture. Come, come. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. Mm -hmm. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture are men. Is that and, it? Come, come. It's a come, come, come. And I am your God, saith the Lord God. I want to get something straight right now, man. The reason, one of the major reasons that blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans are in the condition they are in is because of the men that need to be leading this flock, the need to be leading the Lord's flock, man. Right now, we, 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 men are rising up and you're seeing like never before the truth coming out. But like the Lord said, men are the one that guide this late nation. Whether you, I don't, you know what I mean? You, you in America, don't forget. You you underneath the the, the 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 empire of our enemy, and he understands that how important that is. He understands that that is why he is reversing it. But you can't you can't let that you know uh, deter you from obeying the Lord. The Lord set up a system of rank in this in this nation. I mean, like he set up the the Most High Christ. Man, woman, and then the children. That's the order right there. So um, we just wanted to bring that out. Ah, uh, where should we start in there? Um, let's start. Hmm. Let's start. Okay, you got the you got what I um gave you. Um come on, come. What's up, y'all? Come on, come. I got a uh, Matthew 25 and 32. And what was that? That was on um separating that was on memory. It was separating the lamb from the goat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hold that for later. <laughs> let's talk about that. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about the ghost later. Um, let's go to uh, Exodus 12 chapter. I might have you to pull up the blue letter Bible. Come on, come. Can we do that on there? On the screen, let me see. Yeah, 
If not, don't sweat it. But I want you to, I want to pull it up because in Exodus, the 12th chapter, I want to, I want to show you. Well, Abba Yab is the word, is a bit of what we read in the, in, in the translation. Well, I was going to pull it up and show what this, what this was. But give me Exodus 12 chapter. Salaka. <clears throat> Come, come. Exodus chapter two, like chapter twelve, verse one. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Verse two, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Verse go to like month. That's our first month. I'm going to let you know we don't have names on our months like the like like our oppressor do. Our oppressor has names on his month to uh, for gods for you to worship, like Janus, for for Rua, like that. We don't have that. We have the first month, second month, third month, fourth month, like that. And the Lord set it up that way so that you would not be worshiping the months or the moon or whatever these 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 people hurt worship. They're gonna go out here and worship this eclipse in a minute. The solar eclipse. They're gonna go full out and worship it. Lord said, I am the power. You know, you we don't worship birthdays and stuff like that for the same reason. You understand? That for uh, the reason of uh, not wanting to make a God out of something because of this day, uh, you know, or this day. So the Lord is keeping us from that. Um, could you put it up? You couldn't pull it up? Come on, I got it right here. Okay, good. Let's get it up. Let's, let's back up what we're saying. If you go to the verse, look up a bib. Go down. I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure you got it. I mean, the first month. Um, look up a bib. I think it's in Deuteronomy 16. Uh, let me look it up real quick. Just to show you that that was the first month. Um, I'm sorry, so like I should have had that um, scripture for you. This week, man, this week was a hectic one, man. This was one of those weeks <laughs> where you can't, you know, uh, too many things come up where you can't do things like you want wanted to. Um, let's get the scripture real quick. The scripture, uh, uh, Deuteronomy 16, that's it. Yeah, that's the same one. Deuteronomy 16 and 1. Okay, come, come. Okay, you want me to read? I'll read it. The round of 16 and 1. Ob observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy power. For in the month of Abib, the Lord thy power brought thee forth out of. Egypt by night. <clears throat> Look up that word of Bib. You'll see it's Abba Yab. That's the first month. That's the first month. That's what the Lord saying. Number one. You understand? Um, just wanted to bring that up. I don't even know if that <laughs> y'all got any questions, man. Don't feel free to type chime in. Let's get the full understanding of the Passover. Last week, let me tell you something, man. And I want you to look this up too. Um, trans, what is it called? Dang. Transgender Day of, what is that called? Of recognition or something. I can't think of it. Let me see. Last week, <laughs> while they was having, go ahead, what you saying? Oh, I thought you were trying to say something. 
Wow. While they was having Easter, while they was out there hunting for the eggs, and the bunnies was hopping around, was don't lay eggs. And uh, they was in full out celebration of Easter. Your president uh, consecrated that day as the day of transgender, what is it called? Transgender something. I can't remember what the, the exact name of it. Anybody know what it was? Uh, let me pull it up real quick. I don't know. Transgender recognition or something like that. Let me just see. Let me see what that is. Uh, look it up. Um, Google it. Um, if you could. My phone is running. Oh, I, I think I got so many things on this phone, man. <laughs> um, it's called oh. It Was Last Eat. Last Easter, trans East Side. Mm. So I can serve up me. Yeah, think, go ahead. I think uh is it um trans day of visibility? That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh well Biden, I don't think we need to read the story. Biden declared that day to be a day of well, not that but they saying it fell on. Easter this year, but it's the same day every year. But Biden stood up and declared that day the day of transgender um, visibility uh, over Easter. In other words, he's the president. He's the leader of uh, of the you know of, of of America, right? For him to make that declaration, it, <laughs> it was like. It was, you know, people who didn't even understand that he wants this place to be, this place to go in a certain direction. Did you get right. it up? Did you get a story on it? Transgender. Let me see something. A, uh, so I can, sir. Say it again. I got a news clip on it. Yeah, if you could, just give me a little bit off the clip. Come, come. Wow. Which means they don't even give a damn about Easter. They don't give a damn about no goddamn Easter. No celebrate. No, of course, it ain't got nothing to do with our king. You know. Let me hear what you say. From Fox and good morning to you. Tuning in, I'm Jean A. Francine. Waking up with you here bright and early on this Easter Sunday, taking you out to Washington, D.C., giving you a live look out at the White House now at 841 on the East Coast. And we are following some breaking news as it relates to President Biden. According to our content partners over at the Associated Press, President Joe Biden is facing criticism this morning from Donald Trump's campaign and religious conservatives for proclaiming March 31st, which corresponds with Easter Sunday this year, as Transgender Day of Visibility. The Democratic <laughs> president issuing the proclamation Friday, calling on all Americans to to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people that's throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence. That's enough. That's enough. You, you understand what I'm Don't saying? Stop. This is an evil, wicked place, man. This is evil, wicked, wickedness beyond understanding. They want you to be gay. You understand? They want you to accept this lifestyle and to to join in on that that movement and you understand it's 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 pathetic and it's crazy and we can't celebrate that's one reason we can't go outside of the scriptures to try to follow something else if it's not in the bible don't celebrate it if god ain't say give me give me how does one day excel another Look that up. It might be an apocryphal. How does one day? How, how does one day excel another day? Let's get that real quick. Then we're gonna go finish Exodus, the twelfth chapter, um, and bring out some more. So it's very important to understand. And here's another thing: we went into Egypt, seventy souls. The scriptures say, walked into Egypt, coming out of Egypt. 
Over two million people, man. Over two million people. We strong. You understand? Did you ever find it? It's an apocrypha. Yeah. Oh, you got to understand this right here as being God's chosen people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you God's chosen pe people, whether you realize, want to understand it or not. That's right. You understand? Just because you don't accept it, that don't make it true. This is what the Bible is saying is what God wants you to walk a certain way so that he can put you on top of this, these nations and get uh, righteousness out of this earth, man. It could be the kingdom of heaven for you. Go ahead, if we're good. Come, come. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33, verse 7. Why? Why doth a man so like why doth a day excel another? Yeah. As, come or come. When as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. Verse 8. Go, go ahead. Come go ahead. by the knowledge of the Lord, they were disgusted. And he yeah. altered all. And he altered seasons and feasts. Mm -hmm. Go up above that one. How does a day, you know, above the day? That might that's that's just the um that's the point. Come come, verse seven. Why doth uh why doth one day excel another? Go up above that. Come come, verse five. The heart of a foolish is the is like a cartwheel and his thoughts are like a rolling a rolling axle tree yeah, go ahead verse go, six go ahead. what is the lord saying there why is the thoughts of the fool is like a cartwheel why is it why, why is it why is he using a rolling what is it rolling what like a cartwheel keep going what's the next um part Come, come, and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. That's what I want. What does that mean? His thoughts, his thoughts are continuously, you know, it's, it's continuously wicked. Meaning, oh, a rolling axle tree. Meaning, he continuously thinking. Of evil to do, as which is why this tree is rolling instead of you know producing or whatever. Like a cartwheel, it's going to send you in turmoil. It's going to just you know we on. Come come, and his thoughts are like a rolling axle tree. Shalom's, keep going, keep going. Come come, verse six. A, a stallion horse is a mocking friend. He a, a knife, he kneeth under every one that sitteth upon him. Verse 7. Why doth one day excel another? This is it, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. One day excels another because the Lord said it. That's right. Your birthday should not be excelling another day. It's another day. That's it. The Lord created the day. He created the sun and the moon and the stars. You understand? He created this earth. You understand? For it to flow in a certain way. The only way that you and uh that you that one day excels another is because the Lord said it does. Read on. Come, come, verse seven. <clears throat> So like verse eight or well, the middle of verse seven, when as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun. Verse eight. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished and he all by the knowledge of the Lord. That's what the, that's what the, the uh, separates the day. Now go back to Exodus, the 12th chapter. Come on. Come on. Exodus chapter 12, verse 1. I think we 
Warrior 2. Go ahead. Oh, verse I two. think we have two, right? Come, mm -hmm. come. Go ahead. Verse, verse 2. This month shall be unto you the, the beginning of months. Now, we shall... already established that was the month of a bib. This is where your new year is, man. Your new year is not January the 1st. That should not exceed in when, if the Lord ain't safe. You you celebrate the I mean, what America celebrates January the 1st in the dead of winter when this is the new year. This is the, what the Lord told our people to, to observe. Read on. Come, come. It shall the reason be. why we got to observe the new year and the month is because the Lord has celebrations in that month. The Passover. Right. Read. Come, come. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Uh -huh. verse, verse three. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of the of their fathers on the 10th day you go get a lamb according to the house of who of this law come come of this their fathers their fathers according to the house of their fathers meaning go, go and have a good lamb on the 10th day Anybody know what a lamb is? Uh, this is where I, I, I thought I had to, uh, would have to bring this up because uh, a lamb is a young sheep. Sheep is a sheep is when they get old. Look it up. A sheep is when they get older. A lamb is young. It's a young lamb. The Lord said to get take a get to you a lamb. What, what did he say? I can't hear. I can't see it. What's the, what, what, what did the brother um, comment? Oh, Salati, let me see. He said, uh, they, they thoughts be all over the place. I don't, um, I don't know specifically he's speaking about right there. Okay, don't don't sweat that. Um, but look at that. Look at what, huh? Let's look it up. A no. lamb, you don't have to look it up. I just told you. <laughs> so that's what a lamb is. The Lord said, get one, a young lamb, of about a year. Read on, I believe. It's in here. Come, come. Every household. What does it mean, every household? Meaning, and then why the tenth? Let's read on down. I, 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 I'll bring it up. Come, come. <laughs> a lamb for an house. Verse four. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls uh -huh. every man according to his eating shall make your your count for the lamb verse five uh -huh. your lamb shall be without blemish a without male, blemish yeah. come come a male of the first year uh -huh. a one a male first first year Young, tender, without blemish, each household on the tenth day. Well, keep going. Come, come, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Verse six, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day. Of the same month, and here's this is important. This is important. The four you would have that lamb in your house for four days. You would be with that lamb. You would feed that lamb. You would take care of that lamb. Make sure it ain't got no blood. You know, it, it don't get harmed or anything like that. No, whatever. Four days. Maybe I don't know how you you know. And on the fourth, and on the the fourteenth day, four days later, 
the after the tenth, I mean the tenth, you would get it. Fourteenth, you would you would take that lamb and slit its throat, and the blood would run out of that lamb, and that would be you would prepare that. You know, read on. Let's get some more. I, I don't want to tell you the whole thing, but right now, mm -hmm. and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it, and. So like in the evening, verse mm -hmm. seven. And in the shall... evening. Come, come. Not in the morning, not in the midday. Come, come. In the evening, read on. Come, come, verse seven. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the, on the upper door posts of the houses. So Where now. You take that blood once you kill that lamb and put it on the upper post of your door and on the two side posts. That lamb was what? What was that lamb to that household? That was the... Mm. What was that land to that household? What was the purpose of it? Slack if I may. Go ahead. The to let the the deaf angel know not to uh you know what I mean unalive the people in the in that house. Speaking That's right. You right. You right. That's to let the deaf angel know. But what was the purpose of the lamb? Slack. Slago, like brother, right here. You want it? You get. Go ahead. Slago, like, uh, brother, my uh, officer Makwalat says, uh, sacrificial lamb. That's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. That lamb had to be sacrificed for your sins. Oh, God. Give me without without bloodshed, there's no remission of sins. I'm paraphrasing. That lamb was the sacrifice. For your sins, and what we want to understand it or not, you understand, we had to make that sacrifice and put that blood on them posts because we was wicked, we was evil, and by obeying the Lord's commandment and doing what the Lord said was the only way we would save our souls, man. When the Lord pronounced judgment. It wasn't just on uh, Egypt. It was on Egypt, for sure. But if you didn't obey the Lord, that judgment would come on you, too. You understand? So let's get this. Uh, um, come, let's come. get this down real quick. Uh, you got it? Come, come. Let me have it. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse tw uh, so like 21. Moreover, mm -hmm. he's moreover he he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry, verse twenty two, mm -hmm. and almost all things are by the law purged with blood. With and without shedding of blood is no remission. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what I want. You cannot. Your sins are before you. Without the shedding of blood. That's what we just read. You can't get rid of your sin. I heard people, I heard um people say that they're born again virgins, like they they, you know, they 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 not, you know, they said like they want to get rid of that old sinful self. You can't do it without Christ. That's right. You can't do it without our king, man. We are we are wicked. We are wicked and don't want to believe we're wicked. We wicked as hell. We need to turn from that life, man. This is, the, this is the opportunity to be something and to do something that was never expected. That, like I said, Trump brought, I mean, on Biden, declared that because he expects you to be, you know, a sinner. He wants you to follow this sinful nation. 
our forefathers, you know, we, they, they, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob followed the Lord, man. That's right. And we are to follow the Lord. And then following the Lord, you're going to have a nation of people that you got to care for. A nation of people that need a nation of people, you know, being, being a, um, a shepherd means you take care of the flock. Flock something uh, a shepherd will go out and and if one of the sheep has something stuck in his foot or they would they would they remove remove it so that to make that that sheep feel better. They take care of them, defend that flock. People want to get to the flock. They want to get to the flock too for their own devices. You know what I mean? Shepherd's supposed to defend them, supposed to watch out. For these sheep, you know what I mean. Give me um the sheepfold. Um, let's go. Well, let me see. I might have. I might have it. Um, before we before we do that, let's go to Isaiah the fifty third chapter. Let's go get that. Come on, let's go bring out about our king, man. We just talked about the blood. And how the blood of the lamb, when when the death angel seen that on your door, he would pass over that house. You understand? Here's what our people don't understand. Christ shed his blood, and in being in the truth, it's hot when the when when this when this um the nuclear war hit. I mean, when, you know, when these bombs hit. If you ain't in the truth, then you gonna suffer. You gonna get su You 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 gonna catch a, a a bad one. But the Lord is gonna deliver His people. They're gonna be what spiritually passed over from the death right. that's, that's coming to this place. Right. Give it to me, um, please. Come, come. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. This time, yeah. this time when I came. Come, come. If, if, I, if our nation didn't fall, David's lineage would be sitting on the throne right now. If our nation didn't fall, Christ would be on the throne. We're reading about him right now and what our king had to go through, you understand, to, to uh, live the life that the Lord wanted us to live and then be, you know, and then be sacrificed for us. Right here. Go ahead. Read on. Come, come. Yet he opened not his mouth. He was, he, he, he was, what is that? What is, give me the spirit on that. He opened not his mouth. Didn't, didn't complain, sloppy serve our man. Didn't um, complain. That's right. He knew this was of the Lord. He was like a sheep being led to the slaughter. That's powerful. Why? Because sheep, we were brother, sheep can watch their brother get killed. And follow right behind their brother to the slaughter. Right. A sheep, a sheep is do, uh, 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 what, a docile animal. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what we do as a nation. We go. You see your brothers getting slaughtered in the streets, being drug dealers, and we walk right behind them. Right. We walk right behind them and catch the same fate. That 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 she. <laughs> that's it. You know what I mean? We 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 watch our sisters get get destroyed by being um hoes. You know what I'm saying? We go right behind them. Right behind them. Come. Give me that video of that uh, sister. That um, you know, when I told you the whole, come, come. I, I don't want to forget that. <laughs> we gotta put that one up. 
And when you find it, just let me know, all right? Come, come, sir. Oh, um, yeah, our king. No, let's finish. Let's finish this, and then we'll get it. Well, you, you know, you, you got to put it up. You know, hold yeah, on come, to come. it. Come, 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 all right, come, 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 read on. on. Come, come, sir. Verse in the middle of verse seven. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. You get that, don't you? Come, come, come. Unblemished, without sin. Keep going. Come, come, come. And as a sheep before her shears is dumb. What does that mean? That old woolly hair, that sheep, they would you they would shear the sheep to get that wool, that hair to whatever, you know, purposes they want to use. It would grow so nice and thick that it had a, you know what I mean? It was like, it was like uh it. Mm. I remember Judah in the scriptures used to go down there and they talk, uh, be, make all kind of money by going to those sheep shares and you know what I mean? It was a pop. It was back then. It was a popping industry. You could make tons of money off of you know getting your sheep share. You understand? We don't come, come. Also, don't forget that she got a nappy hair. <laughs> don't forget that part. Like, it's like this. You, the world is coming against blacks and Hispanics. They don't like the way you look. You won't have to expect the other nations to be trying to vault this self against us. Trying to up, you know, get out the money, so you're going to expect them to try to or project their images on us. You got to resist that, man. You understand? I, 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 I tell you, I mean, I hate to see our women wearing that blonde hair like that, man. Because I know it without no, especially without no man in the truth, that, you know, she's about facing all kind of the wickedness that you can imagine a woman. Something is against your nature. If you got that much, if you cut your hair to this length and then blonde it, something is against your femininity tells you that, that your hair is your crown. It should be treasure. You understand? That's what the Lord gave you as a woman. You understand? Deep psychological manipulation has gotten you rejecting your hair. You rejecting it. You rejecting your man because he got that head. He is a he's the image of, you know, he's where you come from. So you know if you reject yourself, that's what's going, you know. And then you are representing, you're not representing him. I'm not gonna go too hard on that, you know. I'm gonna give the women a break, you know, women a break a little bit, you know what I mean? But yeah, something to really think about, man. Something to really think about. Your, your mind works in mysterious ways. Go ahead, um, read on. Come, come. The end of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter in the second You don't see, no, if I could. Come I want to put this down. Don't leave it alone. You don't see the other name. You imagine seeing a white woman walk down the street with a bush on her head. Wearing that, you know what I mean? You don't see them wearing that, or a Chinese woman, right. or somebody. You know what I mean? They don't. They don't do stuff like that. They love themselves. Go ahead. Um, come, on, come. On. <clears throat> so he opened, if not his mouth. Verse eight. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Verse For nine. the transgression of my people was he stricken. This is Isaiah talking. You know, this is before Christ. Come, come. I wasn't born. This is the Old Testament. Is that the Old Testament now? 
What the hell? Yeah. I'm a con, sir. I think it is. Go ahead, give me some. Go, give me some more. Isaiah Prophet is talking right here. Go ahead, give me some more, please. Come on, sir. Four, it's like verse nine. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Give, give me um, well, first Corinthians, which is Christ our Passover. You understand? This is real heavy. What 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 Isaiah is laying down? Yeah, you know I mean he he going into it. He he he. What is he doing? He's he's letting you know that our King should be elevated because the wickedness that we did, the wickedness that we were doing was laid on his this man's shoulders. And the Lord told us to, uh, back in the Old Testament, first of all, give me God. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to bring that out. Maybe mm, another time. But the Lord said that, you know, our king would be, you know, uh, that we would have a king that would deliver us to deliver us in his kingdom and bring us an issue in his kingdom. Man, man, we got to go. We, we don't even understand the opportunity we have right now. Right. To make this, you know what I mean? To f not only fight the wickedness that's all, that's thrown on you daily, but to bring out righteousness, man. To bring out righteousness, something that nobody looks for blacks and the Spanish to do. Give it to me, please. Come, come, sir. I got this. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, the second book of Corinthians, chapter five, verse eight, verse seven. Mm -hmm. so I, verse seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, sir. This is important. Oh my goodness! I got faith in the scriptures. I don't see the kingdom here. Right. But I got faith on what the Lord said was going to take place is going to happen. So I walk. Why do I walk? I walk by his commandments. I don't eat no pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. I don't hoe out my women. I don't shave my beard off my face like some one, like one of the preachers that stand up in front of the congregation every week. Talking about he got, you know, he he understands the Bible, but talking about the Bible and doing what the Bible says is two different things. You understand? We walk by faith, not by sight. That's heavy. That's right. Because a lot of people walk by sight. They walk by what they see and how they get it. That's how they're gonna walk. They're gonna walk by this money, you understand? Or uh, people think about <laughs> Think about our society and how we walk trying to get the riches of America. That's not, that's, they got faith in trying to get what America offers them. And we got faith in these scriptures and we walk to, we walk by what the Lord said. You know what I mean? We don't. So, oh, slack it, sir, if I may. Please. Come, come. Yeah, these, like you were saying, what, what you were saying was so heavy, sir. Like, you know, um, going into these celebrities and you know rappers and whatnot, whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? Like they put their trust in the riches of America, the riches of Babylon, the great. They, you know, what I mean, was well, the so-called great Salaki. You know, what I mean, they they put their whole trust in this wicked world, and they don't never, you know, what I mean, and it's all in vain because at the end of the day, they money they think they have is not theirs. You know, what I mean, it's oh man, you you hitting on so many different things. I forgot all about. Listen, I was watching. Oh, go ahead. You finish the slot. I'm a, I'm, you just hitting something in me. But go ahead, finish up. Oh, come, come. I was just uh, bringing out that you know, what I mean, they what they bringing out. I mean, what they getting into. They don't know what they getting into. They, you know, what I mean, they thinking they living lavish right now, and you know, all that's about to come to an end. Uh, hence, we seeing the you know all the world wars going on right now. The rumors. And uh, uh, rumors of wars happening, and they're everywhere. You know what I mean. And 
you know what I mean? Everything's going to come to an end. It's, and like the scriptures say, you know what I mean? It's going to be a time where it's going to be like a great suffering on that no nation has ever seen before. You know what I mean? Right. Like, time's about to get crazy. What, what you're saying is really heavy. Let me hear, let me say something to you, blacks and Hispanics, that desire to go up in these different, uh, especially this music and this TV and all that. You're, it's a require, it's something that you, it's a, you got to sacrifice something to be, to join this place. You got to sacrifice your love for blacks and Hispanics, man. You're going to have to sacrifice maybe family, friends, and all that. You got to sacrifice that in order, think about it. I was watching this um, documentary on Billy Holiday, man. That woman went through hell. Just think about the uh, I'm, this is the beginning of her life. Being born to a single mother. Right. Of course, you know, that was by design of this place to remove the man out of the household. Right. Single mother, no money, tricking, doing what they can to survive. Also, all, uh, all of a sudden find out my daughter can, you know, can make money elsewhere. She got a voice. Here's what, and came out with a song to defend blacks and Hispanics. And guess what the government did? Doped, doped, send people, send, okay, <laughs> send people to her to help her to be influenced in drugs. You in that music industry, or in the industry, or you know, in the society, and you smoking that weed? It's because people in, and you got people to influence you, and you think they're your friends, right? And a lot of times you don't even know that these people, man, setting you up, man, so you can be on drugs, so that you can be enslaved by them. You can be a slave. That's what happened to her, man. The government was sending all kind of people down. She came up with that strange fruit, which was a banter to what was going on. Uh, the, the, you know, kind of like a song to defend black people because white people was hanging black people so goddamn much. You know what I mean? It was just like strange fruit. on. What, what is this strange fruit on this tree? Yeah, these devils. I mean, I mean, uh, these people, man, plotting on this woman who was by herself. The gay, gay got no family. I mean, this, I mean, this was like, and then listen, not sending one, they send people that that, that you uh, attract, they know you. They study you. They know what you buy in the store. When you put your number in, they already got the records of what you bought in that store. You go and pay for your your liquor, they know what kind of liquor you got. You like that good old Jack Daniel. Or you like this. Here come a person that has studied you, coming amongst you. Not an attractive looking person. And like vibing with you left and right. You don't even know that's an agent setting you up, man. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of we, we, we gotta watch it, man. Go, this go. thing is deeper than we ever could imagine. But the Lord sits on the sits on his holy on the throne. But the Lord is in his holy temple, man. Go, he watched everything to go down. He knows. You understand? Give me some more, um, if I could. I'm gonna back up off that a little bit. I, mean, okay. I, I didn't see so many, but I just want to bring that out because they didn't they didn't already Plotter, imagine you, <laughs> a black millionaire driving along white people that are poor or they, they don't have the money you got. What you think going on in there? Hmm? Uh, it, it was people like Sam Cook, all these other people that, that was driving Jaguars, that was driving expensive cars back then. 
that had their own. What what what's the op what's the ops doing? I call them the ops. <laughs> what they thinking? It's a lot of my Go on, please. Yeah, they you know they got uh, blood on their mind. You know what I'm saying? They want to. Oh man, you you yeah. <laughs> With them y'all, you want they they want the, they want what you have, but they're not able to do it. You know they don't have that spirit that you got. So right. of course this is a murderer. Right, he gonna kill you and take your the ownership or your whatever your you know your publishing or whatever, and have it for himself. That's it. That's you. Know. Come, come. come on, come I mean, on. I mean, entertainers I got a name with that. Hey, so like I said about me, please. This is a rapper named Meek Mill from Philly. You know what I mean? I, I heard about that rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He put out. He been putting out good music. Uh, oak. He putting out good music. You know what I mean. And is like why wi um widely looked at as uh quality music amongst black people, right? Until recently, mm -hmm. until recently, he you know what I mean got allegations with like you know him and P Diddy having you know what I mean a uh, an abominable relationship. You know, what mm -hmm. I mean? and you know it's just crazy. And then it's like. You know he's like changing his spirit like you can see it so crystal clear with him now you know what i mean and i can't even listen to his music no more so like I, I can't i can't i can't man listen i'm gonna tell you i heard about that meeting man. i heard that tape god damn man I, my ears was not supposed to hear that shit. i have <laughs> never heard no shit like that before in my life man it was sickening man that was sick. I don't know if it's if it's a real audio or not. Right, right. But if it is, the brother act like it was kind of real. He said, "I taped it, brother." Yo, that is a nut. Listen, I shouldn't have never watched that shit. Come, come. That shit made me feel like, God damn, why the why is he in this? Why is he in this situation? Like, why don't somebody help this brother? Right. You know what I mean? But he wants to be there. He ain't running out saying no, no, this can't happen to me. Like this, that is that. The, I I would have never thought he was like. You know, I mean, he would, you know, like that. But I I don't know. Yes, and I I just know I you know I don't. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I love women too. I love my black and Hispanic women too much, man. To even oh, God, think right. about some shit like that. That's right. You know what I mean. I like that Marvin Gaye song where he said, I want you, but I want you to want me. You remember, remember that song? He said, I want you, but I want you to want me. What does that mean? That means in this society, let me just put this out there. Our women want something else instead of us. I mean, they, I mean, they do in a certain sense, but you know what I'm saying? This society makes Black women turn their back on black and Hispanic men. That's right. That's, that's right. a given. You understand? That's what they work. That's what Satan wants. Division amongst us. When Marvin put that song out, I want you, but I want you to want me. I mean, you sitting in the Christian church lusting after the things, you know how they say, oh, I'm naming and claiming. <laughs> <laughs> Name it and that's lust. What else? What else they say in that Christian church? Oh, they pray for all kind of oh Lord, if you can just give me a nice uh give me a nice uh Mercedes or something. Or you can just give me a nice uh nice mansion. You know what I mean? Come, come. The man that can provide these things that's over this kingdom is what they is what you desire. Right. You know what I mean? If, uh, uh, as a woman, of course, I'm going to paraphrase. You know what I mean? Go. It would take a very spiritual woman and say, you know what? I'm going to stick it with my man, even though. You know, oh, snap. Oh, bad man. Went out. Even though I can't, you know. And we're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. We're going to get down it. And then we're going to, you know, by us being together. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
you, I'm I'm looked after, and you know, I mean, take it. The Lord never promised you the perfect relationship. Right. Never promised you the perfect relationship, man. A lot of us look for the perfect relationship. He he told us he said for you to endure until the end. Okay, read on some more. Come, come. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Hold on, what was that? What was you looking at first as Corinthians? Come, um, come. The Christ our Passover lamb, right? Right, let me uh, slot you. I think it's in First Corinthians, the fifth chapter. But yeah, to be to be to be absent from the body, meaning somebody kill you or something happen, you die. Your spirit is present with the in the in the with the Lord. Your spirit is going up there for judgment for what you done done. You know what I mean? You know how to get right. He he gonna get you right. You get punished enough times, you're gonna want to get right. I think it's first Corinthians fifth chapter. Try eight. It's slack. Yeah, I was in second Corinthians slack. Yeah, I think you went to something else. I said the Christ our Passover. I thought you was yeah, it's, it's okay. That's the why. Come come. First Corinthians chapter five, verse eight. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not no, go up to the beginning. What were what, what you talking about? Come Maybe come. A, a verse or two above it. Come, come, verse six. Your glorying is not good. Know ye that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Your verse glory seven. is not good, meaning you glory in something that is not of the Lord. Come. You're supposed to glory in the Passover, man. Not no damn Easter. That's right. You see the glory in a feast of unleavened bread, the memorial blowing the trumpet, the a day of atonement, those things. Back in the past, we look, be like, hey, listen, hey, shalom, brother. You know what I mean? I'm coming down there to celebrate. You know what I mean? We, and of course, our women, black, who cooks better than black in this man? I want to know that. <laughs> Ain't nobody. <laughs> <laughs> them women throw down, man. Right. Them women got the 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 the, 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 under, the make them garments. That's right. You know what I mean? Glorious garments, man. The women, you know what I mean? Take care of their husbands, man. You don't realize, man. That man put his life on the line for you. He commanded to do that. You know what I mean? That's right. Do it with with a uh, do it without you know without uh, what do they call it um what, what like like Christ went on that cross without com without complaining or without uh, what am I looking for? It's so like it's if right. I may said uh, he opened if not his mouth he opened he his opened mouth. not his mouth go sacrifice yourself for that for that woman that's that's, that's that is um. That is that got your back. Go ahead, give me some more, please. Where we at? Let me go seven. back to Exodus. Let's go back to Exodus. Come, come. Did we finish? Do we no? Hold on, hold on. Do we read this Christ our Passover? La, not yet. We coming up on it. Read that, go ahead. Get to that part. Come, come. Verse seven. Purge out therefore the old leaven that ye may be of new lump. Stop That's being me. so goddamn proud. Right. So puffed up. Like you know every goddamn thing. Right. Lord said he resists the proud. That's why he doubt he came to the hood to find brothers, you know what I mean? To help bring this word forth. Christ grew up in the hood. Christ grew up in Nazareth. What do you say? Is it can anything good come from that place? Right. My goodness. And our king grew up in that place. That's right. Well, well, guess what? 
we came from the hood, didn't we? My thumb yard. I know on. we. I was in. I know I was in D.C. I loved it. I loved. Listen, I loved the evil life that I was. That I was not. Li I loved it, but I didn't know no better. Let's put it like that. Don't come. So you come into the truth. The truth blind. It, it, it blinds you. It makes you. It makes you a totally different person, man. Come on, come. Go ahead, give me some more. Come on, come. As ye are le unleavened, so lucky. For even, come on, come. For even Christ, our Passover is a uh, so like is sacrifice for us. It's sacrifice for us. Come on, come. I won't go into the Passover dinner Thursday. Maybe, maybe next, maybe next Sunday. I don't know. But it's sacrifice for us. Like, like in the beginning, when, when the Lord said in Genesis, when he gave the prophecy of the serpent and uh, the head, the woman, the seed of the woman, we knew we was going to have a king to come back and deliver us, man, who would have a, a kingdom that, you know, is everlasting. Keep going. That's it? Come on, come on. That's it on that. What about the Exodus? Come on, come on. Exodus chapter. Oh, is somebody got a question on it? What is that on there? I see something lit up. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. This is uh, Jerry right here. He was saying, uh, it's a, it's two things I want to bring up from two different people. But uh, Jerry, he said, uh, Captain, I'm learning a lot from your teachings under our king, the water, sir, from Big, <laughs> Big Bear. You calling me Big Bear? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, you know, that's the Lord, man. Come, come. Our king gets all that, man. He listen, he didn't show me. This is the truth, man. He didn't show me the INCBK and open my eyes up, man, to what was what was going on. You know what I mean? He gets that glory, man. You know what I'm saying, Corey. Most high in Christ on that. Um, let's go on. It was a slacker, sir. If I may, it's another brother, uh, Masha. He was okay. he was talking about what you were saying earlier about that song you brought up with Marvin Gaye. You know, he brought up he put some lyrics in the chat. That was I just want to make that clear. He put that was a uh, lyrics he was typing. Right. Out. Can you imagine? Okay. Black men, we in we in the school learning this truth. You know your woman want you. I can see she desires another, another, you know, another man because because of the money. You know what I mean? But I want, or because she worship another man. She worshiping in Christianity. But you got a desire for her because that's your other half. I want you, but I want you to want me. How you gonna want me by turning and and um and recognizing the truth, man? And 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 clinging on to your heritage, man. Can you imagine brother and a sister like that? That was Adam and Eve before they fell. Right. Go ahead. Please give me some more. Come, on, come. On. All right. Exodus chapter 12, verse 7. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts. Uh, we read that. We read that one already. I can drop down to verse 8. Let me drop down to verse 8. Come, come. Verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened when bread. You eating, when you eating this flesh, remember when Christ said, this is my body. You eating the flesh of the lamb. You supposed to become, a, you are a new person, man. You can't go back to, how are you going to eat the Passover and go back to your sinful life? Remember the scripture says like a dog returning to his vomit, man. Right. You got to see what the Lord is 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 uh is trying to bring you to by, by this having this dinner with your brothers and sisters. No more of those idols, that garbage, man. No more of that goddamn uh um a life we, we lived before. Right. No drugs. Leave them goddamn cigarettes alone, man. 
fight it. Fight it. Fight it tooth and nail, and you can beat it, man. The Lord said, the, uh, the, the, what's in you is greater than this world, man. Right. This world wants you to smoke. But that what's inside you can defeat that habit. What's in you it needs to be brought out. Go ahead. Come, come. Somebody says something else. I see a comment. Right. Jerry said again in response to your um to what you were saying. He said, Captain, we admire. Oh that man, you. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to yeah. hear no damn um for, I, that <laughs> that big headedness. I can't do it. <laughs> you have to give the Lord just a listen. Let me tell you something, man. With all due respect, and I and I see what you're saying, but the Lord gets this come, honor come, and right. glory, right? That's who we represent, man. That's a lot of people don't they they take oh man they like this oh thank you thank you you know what I mean get the head come so inflated right. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying that they can't. No, nah, I, I want to. I want to stay. You know, man, I'm, I'm down, brother. You can do the same goddamn thing I'm doing, man. That's, that's right. The same goddamn thing we doing. Get out here and break these scriptures down. You are called. You called by the Lord to gather this flock. Right. Gather this flock, man. Teach them the right way. Okay, go ahead. Um. Thumb, y'all. Let's hurry up because we what time is it? Because I know you got to get out at four o'clock. 321. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Come, come. Mm -hmm. Exodus, come, come. Exodus chapter 12, verse 8, end of 8. Mm -hmm. And and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. That's how you eat. That's that's the Passover. Passover, you eat that thing, God, uh, at, at night. Full guard, and you eat it quick. Right. You got the uh, the the lamb, the unleavened bed, bread, and the bitter herbs. It's like the Lord said, you eat that thing like you about to get up out of here. Right. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Come, come. And so I can verse nine. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with with water. Don't put it in, don't put the lamb and boil it in water. You eat that thing with fire. And boy, I love that. But how can you? I love lamb with fire. I can't, I can't imagine anywhere, any way else prepared. Go ahead. Come, come, sir. But roast with fire. Mm -hmm. His head with his legs. Mm -hmm. And with the pertinence thereof. Verse 10, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. All of it got to be gone. Come, come. All of it, there ain't no going back, you know, after the morning, trying to get seconds and all that. Mm -mm. Whatever you don't eat there. And if it if you're in the morning, you got to yeah, that got to be burnt, burnt up. Go ahead. Come, come, verse eleven. <laughs> and mm -hmm. thus, and thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on the your Lord feet. Said to eat it with your loins girded. Go ahead. Come, come, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Staff in your hand. To defend yourself. That's right. To defend yourself. That's very important. We go there with our with our swords and all that, and you know what I mean. And then, and we eat that Passover lamb like we supposed to, man. We obey. We follow what the Lord said. Read on. Oh, come on, come. And ye shall eat it in haste. Eat it how? In haste. When you sitting there, you act like you got all goddamn day to eat this book and it's unleavened bread. And you got to be in the spirit of the Passover. Oh, God. Be in the spirit of it. Know why you eating it in haste. Oh, mm, you know what I mean? Look at 
as I'm eating, I'm looking, you know what I mean? Right. And boom. Of course, if you want a second, you can want. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to, <laughs> oh, but you know what I'm saying. We got right. to be, we got to be like it was when this was happening. Go ahead. Come, come. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's Passover. Imagine that. Wow, amazing. The Lord's, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and the, and and all things. He created he gave, he created this Passover for you, man. That's right. You know what I mean? Well, it's not to get down in it. Is you know, I know I know a lot of people you know, buy uh, what's the what's the guy Putin and put out the images. So now, and that's wicked, man. I'm gonna tell y'all something if I could. Right. Putin put them images out. Black people will notice them. Black people talked about them. They put the images out, and the whole black and Hispanic community was in an uproar about them images because it, it was images of them. And they didn't know that these images existed. What was so evil about that? Father, please. That we've been bringing it out. I think I told you already. <laughs> Oh, no, we've been bringing it oh, up. Go ahead, go ahead, bring it on out. Come on, it's like I said, if I may, what you bringing out is so heavy. What you bringing out is so heavy. We've been bringing it out for decades that um the Russian icons, you know, how we was ruling in Europe during the Dark Ages, medieval um, Europe and all that stuff. We was taking over all that land. We had kingdoms and, uh, you know, I mean, that, that we had set up. We had a whole system, a whole system. Give me, give me Galatians 4 and 26. Galatians 4 and 26. Come on. Yeah. Let me tell you something about the ISCPK, man. Why it's so damn special. Because I, the ISCPK was trying to wake up blacks and Hispanics back in 69 with showing them the truth. It's kind of wicked. It's, it's a, I, I, I like it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, right. you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing that black and Hispanic say, hey, Christ is he's a black man, and you know, God is black, and is the, the, the Israelites are black, uh, and the Jews and all. What I don't uh, I can't really get with is you you didn't listen to us. Right. We brought the same goddamn thing out. It was like you just ignored us. But when the white man brought it out, it was like, you know, it was like something special to you. I, I like you. I like you knowing the truth. I want you to know it. I want you to come back and be families and let's be a nation again. Right. That's what we desire. But you know what I'm saying? You know, black man, that's kind of a slight on our, you know, to us. But go ahead. Read on. Go ahead. What we got? Come on, Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Hold on. Before you read that. City of Peace. This is where we have our pass. Of course, you know, Jerusalem. We face the east when we pray. Right. We face the east because we want to go back to the land that we are from. We want to be delivered out of this place, man. So we turn to the east and we say the prayers. In our original tongue, the Hebrew, man, the Lashawan Kwadash, which is the holy tongue, that's how we pray. You know what I mean? And the Lord, seeing that we try, we trying desperately to regain our identity, to come out of this goddamn slavery, to walk in his laws, man. What do you think gonna happen? He gonna have mercy. He have mercy on us, right? That's right. I know goddamn Christian who don't give a damn about his his language and his and his um and his high holy days and ain't doing ain't you know doing the things that he 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 says in the scripture, but are following the oppressor. Right. Hmm. Right. Go ahead. Read on. Come, come. Galatians chapter 4, 
verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, which is above, is free. Which is but Jerusalem, above. which is above, is free. Above what? All other nations. That's free. Right. We're free under with under the Lord, under the Lord's laws, his 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 statutes and commandments. Right. You know what I mean? Keep going. Come, come. Which is the mother of us all. Don't ever say no goddamn Africa is the motherland. God will go, right. Please don't say that stupid crap. Right. Somebody tell, uh, uh, tell me that um, Africa is where they found the first bones or whatever. Ain't that some crap? When Noah, when Noah landed in the Middle East, people got off the ship and 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 one went, some went far, spread out. How in the hell you gonna get bones, the, the oldest bones, and uh, whatever millions, uh, thousands and thousands of years ago in Africa? They just say that to try to give Africa credence because they want you. When you first got here, they told you it was African, didn't they? Oh, then the white man said you are African. So why wouldn't he back it up with the bones being from Africa? Because he know your dumb behind gonna be like, yeah, we the original people, Africans. When that ain't true, man. <laughs> None of that garbage is true. Read that scripture again. Come, come. Book of this is the book of Galatians, chapter four, verse Go ahead, twenty-six. Uh-huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. That's the motherland. Right. That's what we get when you read in Acts, the second chapter. That's where everybody was, uh, our people was going, flocking back to, to celebrate the high holy day, man. Come, come. Yeah, so that's it on that. Go back to Exodus. <clears throat> Am I bringing out now? Now, what did else I told you that I was going to bring out? Because I gave it to you with the whole for me. I don't want to miss those, those, those things because I, you know, I will miss a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I miss. Go ahead. Slag, is there. We got uh, Psalms eighty three. I mean eighty two. Oh, you ain't tell me about Psalms eighty three. Did we go? We went. What was the one we read before? Um. Uh, well, we was reading just now. We was in Exodus just now, but uh, okay. Give me some. Come, on. okay. Psalms 83, 82. So, let's get that. I don't want to miss it. Uh, Psalms eighty three, eighty two. Let's get that. I don't want to miss it. That's why. A lot of times, I'll I'll, I'll go back and I'll look at the class. And be like, I know I miss some. I miss a lot that I want to go into. You know what I mean? Like last, like the last. I wanted to go into the goat. How uh, goat is more. You know. Well, Christ talking about the separating the sheep from the goats. Right. We're going to go into that, but that's later on in the class. Come Read come. this. Come, come. Psalms chapter 82. Verse 1. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Is it one we went to? And then further, what, what, what verse was it? What was that? Uh, let me see. Put 82 in here in the notes. It might be 182. Um, oh, wait, no, that's 82. I think it's 82. I'm trying to figure out what was what was the uh all right, so I think I'm gonna read it there. Let me see. Y'all bear with us for one second. I think it's 82. Try six. Try verse six. Come, come. Psalm chapter 82, verse six. Oh, come, come. I have said, ye are gods. That's it right there. And all <laughs> of you are okay. children. Okay, listen. Let me break. Let me. Um, is that. Okay, read it again. Come, come. Psalm chapter 82. Verse six, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children 
of the Most High. Yeah, he's, right. he's talking about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What does this mean as opposed to the one in Genesis where they wanted to be as gods? As God. I'm paraphrasing. Remember, Gen okay, go to Gen Remember, he said when the when the serpent came to Eve and said, "I'll be you'll you'll be as God, knowing good and evil." Why is that different from this one? Remember, he said, "You are gods." I'm gonna give it to you for time's sake. That one was trying to be like the one before was trying to be like the Most High. You are gods when you obey the Lord. When you obey his laws, when you celebrate these high, when his high holy days, then you become power. We become power as a nation, not by us following our enemy and doing what we think is right, but by putting us, putting our putting what we what putting our own interests aside and obeying the Lord. Then you become a power. You become a god to the other nations. You understand? Come, we don't. Come. That's it. Uh, come, come, sir. Um, about no, no, we don't some more. Okay, come, come, sir. Verse seven. But ye shall die like men. Why are yeah. you dying like men? God said you are gods, but. You shall die like men. Why? Why? Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Um, what's up, y'all? No, come because we, you know, we nothing but flesh. You know what I mean? Um, now mm. really it ain't talking about that death. Everybody's flesh. Everybody dies. Everybody right. dies. You know, because uh, you know, but what death? This death is talking about. <laughs> A early a death for breaking God's law. I got to give it to you. Breaking God's laws. You die. Twenty years old, 21, 19, 30. You die an unnatural death. That ain't supposed to be how you. You know you die. God said by breaking His laws is why you die. That's the death the Bible's talking about. The Bible ain't talking about just everybody die. It's talking about you dying because you're a sinner. The wages of sin is death. Read. Give me some more. Come, come. And fall like one of the princes. Verse 8. Arise, O God, judge the earth. For that that's, is that's what the Lord when the Lord judged this place, you better make sure your hands are squeaky clean. Right. You better make sure you're in the right mind. Because once the Lord judged this nation and the people that's down with it, ain't no coming back. Ain't no, oh, I'll prove to the Lord next time that I love him. That's it. Christ is going to redeem those that are worthy, and your seat, your your seat, black man, Hispanic man, is going to be um, issued out according to your deeds. And you're going to want a seat in Christ's kingdom. It's an everlasting kingdom. You want to be able to pass that down to your son and then inherit it when you come back in the earth. When you come back in the earth, you're going to want to inherit it. That's what's up for grabs. Now tell me, shouldn't you change? Listen, you don't even understand. I don't even understand that we uh, that the people in, in the our forefathers had powers that we don't have right now. I mean, had were were different from what we are now. Those after after the flood lived a different life than before the flood. You follow what I'm saying? Oh, okay. They had spiritual power. They were closer to the Lord. If you understand what I'm saying, it's written up in the scriptures 
That's another claim. <laughs> of course, it's written up in the scriptures. We'll bring that out and really um, give you some. Yeah, it's like it's like okay, you don't know what to fight for because you don't understand it fully. You don't understand what's up for grabs. <laughs> you understand it a little bit. Go ahead, give me some more. Give me some more on that one. Let's go ahead because we got we run out of time. Come on, Psalm chapter eighty three, verse eight. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. For well, God is going to inherit all nations through our King Yahushai and those under, that are with him that do the will of the Lord. Come you see how important it is? Right. Read on. Is that it? That was it on that, sir. That was okay. It. No sweat. No sweat. Go back to Exodus, please. Come, come. Oh, give me John 10 and 1. That's what I want. Now. Yeah. This is about the sheep. And the sheep fold and fake Israelite groups, as well as Christians, as well as Muslims, as well as all the other people, all the other people that try not to come into the, the, the think the truth the right way. They try not to give up themselves. In other words, in order to you try to maintain a part of yourself, you know, by joining these other by joining these other groups, you think you can find God and maintain some of your Christianity, or find God and you know, as long as I can, as long as I deem it's right in my head, not find God by you know what He says is totally right. And you know, my you know, my head being wrong or the things I think of is wrong. You follow what I'm saying? Come on, come. Like, okay, go ahead. Read the scripture real quick. Come on, come, sir. John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold. Hold on, but, wait a minute. Here's the door. Now you got it. You got the sheep fold right here. The sheep. You got blacks and Hispanics right here. And you got in order to get the access to them, you got to come in the right way. You got your your intentions got to be pure. As these sheep, you know what I'm saying? They got to be protected. So you don't you come in through the door to show, hey, I'm a real cat that's down with. You know, defending these sheep and doing what I'm supposed to do. We don't. Come, come. And come obey on. orders. That's and right. not use women. I hear I hear I heard some old fake preacher was stealing brothers, um, brothers' wives. That's going on way too. We we didn't witness that in the past. Right. You know what I mean? Come, you come. can't do no shit. You can't. You can't do that and think that you are a man of God. How the hell could you be a man of God? You're still in the brother's woman. You're trying to, you know, make yourself into something you ain't. You don't want to be lowly. You want to be over top. You want to, let me just read the rest of this. Read. Come, come. But climbeth up some other way. The same. He finds some other way to do what? Keep going. Come, come. The same is a thief and a robber. He finds some other way. He's a robber and a thief. Huh? Why is Cap saying that? These people, these, these okay. <laughs> the ISUBK came out with the 12 tribe chart with um, uh, heaven, uh, what do you call it? The, um, dang, I can't lose my damn thought, train of thought. Um, came out with hell, heaven and hell, well, not heaven and hell, no, the chariots. Came out with different things, of course. Some be, read that last scripture one more time. Come, come. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheep. They don't want to come in the right way. 
They will find some other way that they can serve the Lord. By taking what was the right thing and making something else and pretending like they serve in the Lord. Ain't coming through the straight gate, coming in some other way that they design. Read. Come, come, but climbeth up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. He coming, he coming to get a to grab to get the sheep, but he ain't coming through the door. He coming through another, another way that he says right. And guess what? The sheep is following. Him. The sheep is going after him. He's a thief, a robber, and a liar. Who is that talking about? I U I C. Come, come. All these breakout groups. You understand? They done took from the the fold and acting like they doing something righteous right. and leading the sheep away from the real truth, the way that it's supposed to be aid. That's right. The ISUPK under commander General Yana. The ISUPK under commander General Yana. So the only Passover is the the Lord's Passover in the ISUPK. Right. Ain't, well, uh, ain't no other Passover. Go ahead, give me some more, please. What if um Mawa Quad? My main man, Mawa Quad. What did he say? Go. Yeah, you ain't give me Mawa Quads or um. What he say? Go ahead. Shalom, y'all. By Shimei Al Shabbat Shalom. Oh, Shalom, Hebrew. Y'all just Shabbat Shalom. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. I love that. I love my choir, man. Over in Chicago, man. I never forget the, the times we spent together. I never forget them. You understand? Brother is went through this fire, man, and is proven to be a, a stellar brother, man. He's stellar. He's stellar. Anybody say anything to me? He's 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 a brother that you can rely on, man. He's a brother that's dick, yeah. That's a good spirit. I'm going to tell you who else got that spirit, too. Um, Captain Naya Thok. Captain Naya Thok is a... Listen, I, I got my little way. Captain Naya Thok, I ain't seen nothing in him that's going to... You know what I mean? He's just pure humble. General Mayak like that, too. There's a lot of brothers. Captain Masha. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? There's a lot of brothers. Captain... Um, Cesaria, Captain Cesaria is a brother that is super. I mean, you I mean you can just see the humility on that brother. Brother, hey, humble brother, man. Go up in them doing, they underestimate him because he's humility. <laughs> he overthrows them because he's so goddamn humble, man. They be like, oh man, we this brother right here. Then also, you know, that fire come out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, General Muhammad, he always, I mean, this, this school right here, man. Right. You know, how's a young man? This brother always counseling me and, uh, you know, always, we always talking about the old days and mm -hmm. how things was back then. I mean, God, General Gatham, come on, forget about it, man. You know what I mean? We lived together for so long back in the old days. You know what I mean? General Kabbalah, my, oh, man. I right, just keep going on, man. I won't, you know, I'm going to save a little bit for the round table. <laughs> right. Well, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, oh, give me God. some more. Go on, come. You want to know what Come on, come John chapter 10, yeah. verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is shepherd of the sheep. He's a shepherd. Meaning, you coming in the right way. You really care about the sheep. You, I mean, the sheep is the, the, the nation. You care about blacks and Hispanics, man. You don't want to, you want to see blacks, you want to see Hispanic families together. You want to see black families together. You want to see our nation being together and the man in the head that he able to know what, what is needed to keep that family functioning. 
You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Come, come. Verse three. To him, the porter openeth, and the that's sheep. It. I think that's it. Let's go back to Exodus. Come, come. I, I want to. I'm trying to hurry up. That's why. Come, come. Uh, it's a lot here. Exodus chapter twelve, verse verse ten. Mm -hmm. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. Verse mm. eleven. Verse eleven. And thus shall ye eat it with your. Oh, Sly, we read this part. Sly, I'm gonna skip down. Good, uh... If that's all right. Verse twelve. Oh, yeah, for sure. Come, come. Verse 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Oh, oh we're gonna we're gonna go over. We're gonna no, stop right there. I think Thursday we're gonna tackle this part. But here's what I want to bring out as well. Give me um, is it Psalms 28 and 9 or something like that? I forgot what that. I want to bring this out real quick. Because uh, this is important, but I lost my train of thought. If you are not in the fold, if you think you can do, you can be an independent. They are always pushing that independent stuff on us. Then you're in the wrong type of spirit. Right. You want to be, a, 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 you know, you think you. Uh, how how would I say it? Oh my goodness. To be alone, to be to be by yourself, um, to not be a part of the fold, then it's like you don't understand what you need to deal with inside of you, so that you can be a part of the fold. There's something in blacks and Hispanics that's separating us from each other. Come, oh, come. And that thing right there has to be has to be confronted. You understand? It's, it lives inside of us because it's been it's part of this nation. Scriptures say we was born into a world of sin. Yeah, when you was born, you was born underneath the greatest sinner that there is. You know, I mean, the, in, into his world and his world. Hates blacks and Hispanics. I have to find this real quick. Um, go ahead. I think it's uh, I think you might be looking for, I don't know, uh Psalms chapter 28, verse uh seven. Yeah, I think that it, that might be it. Read what does that say? I oh, hope that Psalms chapter 28, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him. Mm -hmm. And I when you get, let me just say this: a lot of our people facing what you call depression. Right. Um, you you say, I'm bored. But the bored is just allowing Satan to get inside you and to work some evil because now you know what I mean. You have no guidance or whatever. Here's what you. Here's what our people don't understand. To defeat that demon is to come amongst your family. You're gonna be unbored amongst us. You're gonna have listen. You want you want to have uh, you know it, uh, plenty to do and plenty of people, brothers and sisters, to be around so that you would. You know, what I mean, it's like it won't be able to live inside you. Counsel, all of that. But outside of this, Nate, this this is where you get the help. I can't find the scripture. Read on from that scripture if you could a little bit more. Come, come, uh, slack you, sir, if I may. Go ahead, please. Come, come, uh, officer Mashab put in the chat. He said maybe uh, Psalms 33. It might be. It might be. Psalms 33 and what verse? Didn't put a verse, but I'm looking. Uh, it might be. I done lost my. my oh, right. um, I, guess, I think my bearings on this now. But go ahead. If that's, that look that look about right. 
come kind of. Did some. you get some, did you get proverb, proverbs twenty seven and eight? Hold that Psalms. We will come back to it. Proverbs. Oh no, no, go to his go to his verse, and then we will come back to proverbs. Come uh, on, Psalm one thirty three, verse one. And so, like, behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Oh, this is an excellent one. This is an excellent one. Boy, you got me on this one. Because that is beautiful. For brothers to be together and dwell together in harmony. Let me tell you something. Y'all don't understand. When we opened that D.C. school, it was General Katham. It was uh, Captain Mashak, Captain Nayatha, and myself that lived, that was in that school right there, that lived in that school right there. And boy, it was amazing. It was like, it was like you had brought, listen, you had brothers, <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got some story, but you had brothers living together, and it's like we throwing the scriptures back and forth. We like, yeah, well, what about this? And what it was like always a, a mental, it was like a mental enlightenment time to be able to live with these brothers and to be able to, you know, in, in harmony and be able to bring forth well, that school. That shit was amazing, man. I'm telling you straight up. To be able to be with brothers, I'm, I, it's, uh, I don't want to, I, I give y'all a little bit more on the on the round table when I go in there, but yeah, it was it was it was a it was something you can't experience, and I don't want to say ain't no homo in this with a woman, right? It was something different, and this ain't even got nothing to do with no god. You know, goddamn well I don't buy that way, but right. um, this this right here. Was brothers like it was like a banter type thing. We was we was talking about issues and relating about things. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, it was amazing. Shavak, if I may, I seen a little yeah. bit on that. I seen a little bit on that uh, YouTube video that I think the Detroit camp put out. I think yeah, they put that one. That was in Philly though. Come that let me tell you something. And if I could. And, Cap and Captain Monquad, when he when he came to Philly, <laughs> we was in the in the Philly in the Philly um barracks, Philadelphia barracks, right? And uh, <laughs> it was well, Monquad tell you what, <laughs> getting that place together, that was something else, boy. But that brother right there, we put that work in, we put that work in. You understand me? Oh, we put no. that word, yeah. And it was, it, 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 we, we it got it together, man. It was, it was, a, it was amazing. You know what I mean? Mama Quad, man, such a humble brother, man. You know what I mean? Let me some more on the scripture. All right, come on, come on, sir. Uh, I think that. What am I going to say? Oh, I hate to say something. It's lucky he put in um other things in the comments. He put in this. This the brother that taught me when I was a trooper. I, when he, all, all, you know, all the Lord, the Lord, the Most High. I wish I could get that, but brother, that was my. I remember the, <laughs> a couple of classes we, we was going into on a, a lot on the phone. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, my old choir, man. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a hell of a work out there, brother. I'm, I am, you know. I'm glad the Lord used me. Use me, man. What else? What else was I good for? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. All right. Come on, Con. I could want me to read it again from the top, sir. But, um, no, nah, just where we stopped off at. But we ain't got that much time. Come on, Con. It, verse two, it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard. Aaron's beard. Come well, he got anointed. Y'all read about that, right? That guy, he would, Aaron got anointed. 
that that oil, that oil that oil ran. He got anointed where it ran down the side of his face, down his beard, man. Probably went on onto his clothes, whatever. Amazing. Go ahead, read on some more. Come on, come on. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, come on, verse three. Went all the way down. They know that was a hard one. Right. That was a. You don't know, man. Go ahead. Give me some more. Come on, come on. Verse three. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For man. there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, come. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Mm, 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 mm. Go to give me Proverbs 27 and let's start at eight. Come, on, come. On. You're supposed to be independent. We're supposed to be intradependent on each other, right? Come on, come on. How you gonna be independent when we got kids? Think about it. You got friends, right? Supposed to be amongst your people, right? You got companions, husbands and wives, kids. Where does the independence come from? You ain't in the, who the, <laughs> independent. This is a nation. That's right. You are a part of a nation, man. Don't ever let nobody tell you you're independent. Because they're selling you a bill of goods. Go ahead. Give me some more. Um, with them, y'all. Come on, come on, sir. Uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 8. As a bird that, that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Verse 9. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So doth the sweetness of a man's uh, of a man's friend by hearty counsel. By hearty counsel, meaning like like the like like a like a a woman that's read that again. <laughs> I lost my train of thought, man. Right. Go ahead, read it one more time. Come with come, sir. Verse nine, ointment and perfume. Verse seven, eight. Oh, sorry. They come with come. Verse eight. As a bird that wandereth from her from her nest. That's what you are. The nest is your safety. Come, come. The nest is your safety, black woman. You wandering up in the white man's society, thinking that you know what you're doing, or wandering off into the Arabs. Or the East Indians or the Africans. When the nest, when I, blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, where you belong, ain't no wondering. Like a bird wandering from that nest, what's gonna happen to that bird? You got predators. You got all kind of things. You you ain't getting fed. You leaving your council. We don't. Come, come. So is a man that wandereth from his place. He wandered from his place thinking that he looking for something that, something better. When his place is to be amongst his people. Right. Go ahead. Give me some more. Come, come. Verse 9. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart. So doth the sweetness of a man's friend. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, ointment, uh, ointment get, it gives you, it rejoices you, meaning you put on perfume, you feeling good. So does when you got friends, brothers, brothers and sisters, don't you feel good? Um, yeah. Y'all uh, ain't never, I mean, I don't know if you have ever uh, experienced having that around, but it make you feel good, like you something, you worthy. Like you, we ain't we ain't built to be independent. We're not built to be alone. Come, come. That's not even even the um therapists will tell you there's something psychologically wrong wrong with you if you want to isolate yourself from brothers and sisters. Right. 
is something that you're trying to hide or don't want to deal with. It's a mechanism you use to protect yourself. Right. I mean, I've been hurt. Now, all of a sudden, I don't want to deal with nothing because I've been hurt. I'm going to isolate myself so I don't got to deal with nobody because I've been hurt. No, you got to learn how to open yourself up, man. That's right. You're going to have to learn how to open yourself up to love your brothers and sisters or else you're going to love and go somewhere else. You shouldn't be. That's right. So, I mean, you know. That's where we at. Are we we good? I mean, we can keep going now. I don't know how much time you got. Um, um, my thumb, y'all. We good? I mean, it, we, we a little over the time. Before. Come huh? on, I can I can keep reading a little bit if you want. Okay, come on. Yeah. Come, 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 come. Verse ten. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not. Neither go into thy brother's house. That's it. Okay, we're going somewhere else. Let's go back to Exodus. Come on, come on. Let's go back to Exodus. Let's talk about some more of Yahweh shine. This um, one is amaz amazing. Listen, last week someone said they need they need a miracle. They want a, they want a miracle every year. During the time, this time, it's a miracle happening right outside your goddamn door. When you got flowers and you got crops, they growing. That ain't no miracle to you. A miracle to me. It's a miracle to me. But what be able to go outside during the time of Abba Yab, I'm saying in the Hebrew, and see. The amazing things that the Lord is doing. Because you ain't doing it. How you 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 might you might go to the grocery store and pick you out something and never really understand the amazing things that's going on before you. Amazing. Go ahead, give me some more. Come, come, sir. Uh-huh. Verse 12. It's so like in Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. Oh, no, we're gonna read that. That's that's next class. We about to end it on this one. Because next class, that's gonna be my topic. <laughs> oh, you understand? So I right, listen, I'm glad y'all came out to check this class out. You know what I'm saying? We got more, but you know, the Passover. These next couple of classes are going to be about your hour shine, man, or the Passover, or anything dealing with the Passover. So we slide into that. And, uh, and, and you know what else I, I forgot to go into? I didn't go into it all. My good, I'm going to have to do it in class. Um, with that being said, I'm going to pass the class over to the priest, officer, my, my thumb yard. I'm sorry. Here we go. All right. Shalom. All right.